This episode of Montreal by Night contains coarse language and a short depiction of dead bodies, including that of a child. Viewer discretion is advised. This story, all names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are fictitious. While the story references locations in Montreal, no identification with actual persons living or deceased, places, buildings, and products is intended or should be inferred. Thank you for listening. Welcome back guys, gals, and non-binary pals, to a very seductive Montreal by night. All of us here. I'm not sure... I'm not sure why I decided to make this our intro, <laughs> but I was just... You know what? I just kind of went off the cuff, and then now here we are. Well, it's because this is our dating sim episode. Uh, joining us in a, in a steamy sauna with two glasses of wine and eyes that will, allu- will allure anyone, we have Ethan Jonah. Hello. I pair Oreos with Rosé. Well, we also have a gentleman lying on a heart-shaped bed covered in roses and nothing else. We have Brenton Edwards. Good evening, lovely ladies and gentlemen. And last but certainly not least, we have the Dapper Dan himself, the gentleman-in-waiting. James Bond wishes that he was this man, Takeshi Fukushima. Sup, nerds? And of course, we have our illustrious DM... Sex incarnate, the god that is most groovy, Tyson. <laughs> groovy god. I'll, I'll take it. He's hot. He's emotionally available. <laughs> the total package. Emotions are sexy, yo. That they are. And give us a call right now. We can have a chat about your emotions. A, a like, emotional reaffirming hotline? But in a sexy way. But in a sexy way. I bet that... Wait, isn't that... I... That does already exist. Uh, it, it just reminds me of, there was a article title I saw, uh, I think it's The Reductress, uh, and the article title uh, was the best thing I had read in ages, where it was, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not looking for anything serious, says man who is going to uh, be emotionally dependent on you for the next six months. Well, listen, Tyson, if you're just going to call me out, use my name. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, talk with you. It's like more like nine months. Christ. Well, after Takeshi has properly burned himself into smithereens, let's hope that we don't do that uh, in this episode. Smooth transition. (laughs) Gotta love that segue. (laughs) Gotta love that segue. Last time we left off, uh, the party narrowly survived... Uh, getting burned and blown into pieces as Asher and Taliesin both encountered bombs that had been sent or installed in their havens. With the help of Premonition, Asher was able to uh, determine what was going to happen before the bomb actually went off, saving both himself and uh, his assistant, Sebastian. Uh, Taliesin, however, was able to use Uh, the explosion to deal with a secret PI who was pretending to be a uh, journalist who was asking questions about someone named uh, Sophie Bianchi or Bianchi at which point uh, Nakano had a restful sleep in the back of his cab as the party then came together and decided to go and seek out Tyler the Baron uh, who had recently been established Uh, after a very difficult time looking for a barber. You guys decided to not give Talison a haircut. As you then traveled to Tyler's old address, spoke to Tyler and his partner, uh, Emil, and got some information about uh, who th- might have led the attack. You guys said your passing words to Tyler and Emil, uh, and have now exited the apartment. As you guys find yourself on the base steps uh, around 11 p.m., Uh, What would you like to do? I suppose we have to go and meet with Ambrosia, do we not? I have to meet with Ambrosia. Thank you for reminding me about that. I know it's only been a day, but mentally it's been two weeks. I have to see Ambrosia. The two of you uh, should stay far away from the metro stations, for lack of a better term. Did she not... Did she not request... To meet with the three of us previously? Specifically, she asked me not to, uh... How do you say it? Fraternize with the two of you. I mean, we're 
miserable, rude, we lack etiquette. I can understand how she would feel that way. See, si. and besides, if she was going to drop bombs on the doorsteps, it would make sense to have an ally, you know, not be there. I am afraid that you are likely correct. Tyson, I, I can't remember. We all met with Ambrosia previously, correct? Or uh, in in passing, no, nothing's nothing concretely. Okay, it was it was only it was only Nakano that was meant to meet back up with her. Yes. If Nakano, if Nakano is going to speak with her, I would, ideally, I would like to visit the communities alongside the canal, Point Saint Charles, Griffin Town, the rest. See, si, the ones where our esteemed new Baron slash not Baron had a strange feeling. Uh, if it is all the same to you, I may join you. I would appreciate that. Uh, we may run into Gangrel there, I believe. I believe they were patrolling. Well, in that case, ideas, man, what else would you suggest? I guess I could look into the uh, prism. Maybe check out some of the warehouses. Do you have any connections in the business sector? I mean, Danny was a personality. Uh, I could drop into one of my other personalities, uh, but they are mostly entertainers and people in the entertainment industry. No, really, no, no uh, business connection. Certainly not in the in the uh, distribution industry. So, at this stage, uh, what else am I to do with myself? Ideas, man. I could have. Are you talking to Nakano? Sorry, no. That would be yourself. Although no, uh, Nakano, if you have any suggestions, I am of course all ears. Asher, do you have any suggestions? How on earth am I the ideas man? We have few leads as of the moment. We can investigate Lake's house ourselves, see if there's anything inside. I can check back in with those that are watching it and see if anything has changed. We could also, we could search Lake's mail, perhaps there's something there. His computer, phone whatever might be around to give us some insight into who may have turned him. Otherwise, if we were to go encounter this presence along the canal, if we were able to discern its identity and find a new ally, that would be beneficial. And were to that be beyond us and we were able to destroy it, that would put us in good standing with the new barons. At this stage, I've tried to at least get a couple of shots in against Lake. It did not go well. I may may be able to defeat him in, in sustained combat. However, I'm honestly not quite sure. Going there by m myself may be risky. Uh, we do not need to defeat Lake, my friend. Oh, no. But if he is at his r place of residence and he recognizes me as the person that he bit... Do you think he'd sit down and have tea and crackers, or do you think he would have a uh, uh, be more inclined to have a fisticuffs? I suppose that depends. But I think, based on his behavior, what we know of him, he went from construction worker to murderer in a single night. He could have been bound into doing so by another of our kind. We do not know. However, if we were to acquire some of his blood... I could identify who his sire is. And that would go a long way towards identifying the party that attacked us. That's not a bad idea. All right. Well, would you propose then that I perhaps take a look into Lake's residence by myself while you go into, <sighs> go into um, DuPont and investigate the presence there? I would like to trigger premonition focusing on what will happen if Talison investigates Lake's house alone. Yeah, roll for premonition. While, while he's doing that, I'll just sort of say... Because I, I can't really tell if you're dropping into premonition or not, just visually, can I? I think Asher's premonitions, he is forcing blood into his eyes, so his eyes become very bloodshot and red uh and he stares past you uh but other than that there's no 
there's no obvious sign beyond that uh, one thing. Well, I'll, I'll just be, as you're doing, I'll say, my main concern to both of them is that we are spreading ourselves too thin, and since we uh, have both been attacked, are you all right, Asher? You're looking a wee bit more, um, you're not, not looking too great. Uh, five successes. As you're focusing, you're hearing the sound of buzzing, like flies. And as you kind of focus away, you find yourself in a hallway with a dark shadow, we figure, standing at the end. And a second form steps out. As these two forms look toward you, this, that sound of buzzing just gets louder and louder and louder until you're put forced back out. I think it's best that you don't go alone. I think that the best case, Nakano might come with us. Regardless, I... Would I know which, which vampire clans, which lineages have uh, an affinity with animals uh typically gangrel but no no others that spring to mind uh nothing that's as immediate as that that would be the first one that would come to mind searching lake's house could turn up answers however i can sense it will be dangerous right if you don't want or if you don't think it is prudent for me to back you up at dupont then, and, and is clearly I should not be going with uh, Nakano, then I can spend the time hitting up some of the contacts that I do have and getting my new mask set up, getting uh, ID, background, fingerprints, etc., etc. You are also welcome to come to the canal with me. Well, if there's nothing else that uh, I can do by myself, then that would definitely be the way to go. If you believe that uh, Nakano should join me when we check out Lake's house, then I can, one, once, uh, once he has finished, he can find me, uh, call my burner phone, and then we can go to the Lake, Lake's house together. Or if you think we should all go... I, I am conflicted. You know of my goals. See, I do, and I have no problem with them. I cannot tell if I am allowing those goals to cloud my better judgment. Is it worthwhile for me to do this this evening, or is Lake our priority? Well, he is a solid lead. He, we've known, we've known uh, from last night that he has been involved in this, and we've not yet investigated. However, I guess what I need to be asking, uh, in manner of staying objective, what is the purpose of your visit is are you acting simply on the bad feeling that uh, our new baron has noted on are you expecting to find someone of a supernatural uh, ability for you to bring into the fold what is your objective behind this esther and ambrosia have put that area off limits so either whatever is there they stand to benefit from or it is a threat that they do not think that they can deal with. See, so essentially you want to put the bear by saying, by going where they say, don't go. Yes. If that is your primary motivation, then I can certainly understand that. However, after having seen that, I think we should then go to Lake's house. We should not delay, we should not delay with Lake's house. I would like to get it done at some point tonight. That should give Nakano time to meet back up with us as well. See, si, certainly. And then we can go as a unified front. Yes. The two of you go to the canal. I will meet with Ambrosia. I will find you once I'm done there. And we will go to this lake's house. Certainly. Okay, in that case, uh, on the way, I would just like to stop by a, a pharmacy or one of those 24-hour shops. I need to just get some makeup. Uh, do a little bit of work to... Disguise my identity, or, you know, maybe put some face paint on, make sure that I am not as easily recognizable as me, since you have said I may be recognized if there are gangrel there. Very well. I'll, yeah, I'll get some face, some, some makeup and then some face paint, and I'll essentially, um, 
do do a, I'll I'll put a, a hood up which I've got on my on my jacket as well. Uh, can I just get some of those? Um, you know those like facial things that you see on those like Japanese makeup tutorials, like the a little, a little like plastic or foam thing to like change the bridge of your nose and give you extra cheekbones and like tighten up your jawline to change the shape of your face. Uh, where do you get those? <laughs> There's there's makeup at there's makeup at a farmer prey. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If it's just makeup, then sure, yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll I'll basically just want to get those and and make it so that I've got like more pronounced cheekbones and like a longer nose and make it look so that my face is you know by like tape taping up skin and shit. Yeah, make a a manipulation plus subterfuge. No, sorry, not subterfuge. Crafting. What the fuck? Where where the fuck is crow? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything in crafting. Wish me luck with my with my four dice. I got one success. One success. I'll say I'll say the the other pieces aren't going to be super convincing if they're if they're pointing a flashlight in your face. At a distance, you think you're going to be able to remain pretty stealth, uh, but the moment that someone looks at you, they're going to start to become very confused. Sure, that's. That's and that's the thing. That's fine. I just I just need them to be like, what the fuck? Instead of, tell us and kill him. Mm-hmm. At which point, uh, for Nakano, you step into the metro for where your current position, uh, the McGill Metro. Uh, you're heading over to the heart, following down the numerous uh, maintenance tunnels, getting you to the centermost point. Uh, as you arrive at the den of computers where you can see Ambrosia kind of standing off to the side, looking around to everyone before she clocks you at a distance and just kind of nods backwards towards her. I'm going to walk towards her and try to hide my disgust at all of these fucking computers around me. Which point you stand beside her as she kind of looks around. So, Nakano, you are curious what we are working towards. Is that right? As all good Nosferatu are. We are working towards this. Kind of motions over to the to the computers. Knowledge. It is the birth of power. We are the voice of this city. We are the brain. Without us, they would be nothing. We are working to make ourselves known. Amongst our kin, others have held territories smaller than ours. But that does not mean that we have been respected. That is what I am after, Nagano. Respect. Based on what I heard, you are a man seeking the same thing. I am simply seeking survival, Ambrosia. Your goals are much loftier than mine and I respect them greatly for that. This city has had a cancer for long enough. We, we are doctors, Nakano. We learn, we dissect, we understand, even when the people do not want to stare at us straight in the face. Sometimes we must come behind the veil and show them their sickness. And how do you propose that we do this? If we truly want to make up for what has been done to us, you are an ally with Asher. His friend Keeper Nela, we need access to the Den of Histories. I see. In that case, I suppose it is rather unfortunate that Keeper Nela survived last night. Is it not? She is a step in the right direction. She is the breadcrumbs leading to the treasure. It is now our job to pick the lock. For too long she's been hoarding knowledge to herself. You are not wrong, Ambrosia. And yet, I cannot see your designs past this one line. Leading from us to keep a nail to the repository. I do not quite grasp the entire design. 
and I would be interested in learning more about it, if I'm to help you. Make a manipulation plus persuasion check. Oh boy. Yeah, they're, they're both failures. Uh, you can also uh, activate your blood surge if you'd like. Oh, uh, what does what does that do? It'll give you an additional dice that you can use. You will have to make a rouse check, however. Ah, fuck it, why not? Ah! That was a failure, too! Oh, uh, it's two dice. Uh, yeah, you get to add two additional dice. That is one success, baby! There are some things that linger outside of your responsibility, Nakano. Let me take care of these things. You shall be the track, and I shall be the train. I see, and I understand your reasoning, clan leader. Or rather, Baroness, I should say. Yes, a proper title. It will be done. I will find Kipanela, and the repository will be ours. And Nakano, when you find the Den of Histories, do this world a favor and make sure that neither Nela nor Asher leave that place alive. It will be done, Baroness. I think this is the beginning of a wonderful future, Nagano. Or should I say, perhaps one day, a Baron himself. Only time will tell, I suppose. Indeed. And I will turn and I will exit. Okay. Oh, I gotta make a rouse check, right? For the um, the blood surge. Yes. That's just that's still just one die, correct? Yep. Just one. Just one roll. I'm up to four hunger, baby. Oof. You are on the edge. Yeah. As 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 I walk away, uh, like once I'm out of view of everyone, I'm like visibly shaking, and like you just clear how much that exchange just like took out of me. At which point, as you're walking away, Asher and Talison, uh, what area are you heading to specifically? Uh, Point St. Charles, Verdun, LaSalle. Point St. Charles. Point St. Charles. Okay. Uh, forgive me. Um, I'm not overly familiar with uh, Point St. Charles. What is it? What does it look like again? Point St. Charles is largely residential. Uh, historically, it is the location that uh, Irish immigrants settled in when they uh, emigrated to Canada. Not not much foliage or, or shit to, to hide behind. It's still houses and open. Yeah, residential. The, the streets have like trees planted, but it's like somewhat open. Sorry, I, I, I had the... Um had the, the, the mental image that we we're going into like a for, you know, like forestry or something like that. We can go to Montreal later. As you guys enter into Point St. Charles, I'd like you both to roll humanity. So roll a number of dice equal to your humanity score. Uh, I also have the controlled thirst advantage. Uh, can you please uh, tell me what that means? Regular time spent among mortals has dulled the hungers of your palate. You reduce the difficulty of any frenzy roll involving sight, scent, or taste of blood by one. You cannot frenzy from sensing blood if your pool is full, and you lose your normal difficulty reduction if your blood pool is less than a quarter full. Okay, so this would not be considered anything defined in that. Uh, I got four successes. Uh, I got a messy critical uh, for a total of seven successes. Asher and Talison, as you guys cross the bridge going into the main, essentially the main thoroughfare of Point St. Charles... Both of you are hit by this immediate moment of what almost feels like nausea as you first step in. It's a very strange feeling, and you have not experienced this in, if not decades, centuries. Since you have been turned, this is the first time you're expense experiencing this kind of... It, it almost feels like a sickness to a certain extent. Like, you're getting a little bit of the shivers, but you're both able to... Control yourselves. Uh, Asher, after a moment, it eventually does pretty much pass entirely. It seems to just kind of ride out of your system. You still feel a very thin tug uh, for Talison. It's 
there, it's still a little bit there. It's not nearly as bad as what it was when you first stepped into the space, uh, but you still feel a little bit queasy. Ah, uh, what the hell is this? Could I make a occult check to see if I recognize the symptom, if I've read about it at all? Go for it. Roll intelligence plus occult. Uh, four successes, and I'd also like to sense the unseen this entire time. Sense the unseen active. With four, th- there are certain spells that operate like this. If it is a spell, it's very powerful. It's very strange. Uh, this is some powerful stuff, regardless of what it is. And can I make an awareness check? I want to see if there's either A, someone watching us, or B, if there's something physical you know, like a, like a, I don't know, a totem or just something that looks magical, you know. Wits awareness. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, four successes. Four successes. You don't, you're looking around, you don't clock anything inherently magical. However, you do clock what looks to be four individuals that are walking down this path. Something about them. They look, there's something about how they're holding themselves and also what they're carrying. It looks like they're they're holding heavy bags, uh, more like garbage bags, it looks like. But there's a certain s- suspicious nature of how they're traveling. Is it, is it like, when you say they're, they're walking strangely, is it like, is their gait sort of like military or is it like they're sort of... Uh, it's not, definitely not military. Uh, it's it's more trying to hide their presence. Sure. Um, as as I'm just you know next to my boy here, I'll be like, for individual straight ahead, they are carrying something and their movement looks suspicious. Uh, let's follow then. Avoid using any disciplines unless you have to. Not a bad idea. Uh, it's also about this point, uh, Talison. As you're approaching, there's a moment where you start to question, like, maybe you're just overthinking this. As you as you kind of cross the street and see them walking, because it looks like they, they're just holding garbage bags, when the smell hits you. As you smell gasoline. Asher, I smell gasoline. These may have been the people that attacked us, may have been the people that wrecked my apartment. That made me need to hire another interior designer to read... Sorry. Do we want to split up, potentially flank them? I think it's best that we watch each other's backs for now. In that case, do you want to stay quiet or...? Let's keep quiet and keep a distance. Where in the point, where in the point are we? Uh, you're he- heading down Rue Charlevoix, uh, just about to hit Parc Saint-Gabriel. Uh, it's a relatively small park. Uh, you see them cut into, uh, into a alley uh, just beyond Rue Grand Trunk. Did you say Grand Trunk? Uh, Rue Grand Trunk, yes. So I'm conflicted, because I, Ethan, know where we are. But I don't know that Asher would. Well, how long's he been in Montreal? Oh, like, decades. Since the, since the 70s. He'd know where it is. He'd, he'd know where it is. We'd all know where it is if we've been in the city for decades. There's, like, a small church community center type thing around the alley. Uh, can I tell if that's where they're going? It's pretty close to each other, yes. Right by St. Columba. Mm-hmm. Shall we keep going? Uh, you guys go to approach the alley where they are? So we're turning left onto Grand Trunk, and is the alley like gated with like chain link, or is it before that? Uh, it's before that. Essentially, it goes into a back alley, which seems to connect multiple of these apartment buildings together. Uh, keep, keep going. Well, yeah, we'll walk just past that alley. If you would like to make stealth checks, dex plus stealth. Three successes. Uh, two successes. Okay. You guys pass by it as you clock the individuals set off to the side as you hear the clinking of glasses or bottles or some something like that. As if, like, the bags were just filled with bottles? Or as in the bags were filled with Molotov cocktails? You see them pull out, and you can see that there are numerous beer bottles and such with what look to be handkerchiefs and pieces of cloth stuffed into the top of them. I'm going to... So just just, just lean over like I'm talking to a friend. Well, I've still got my phone out in one hand. I'm just going to sort of whisper, Monitor of cocktails, we need to, we need to move. We need to 
attack or run. If we get within range, a Molotov cocktail will be useless, and I am good with my blade. I I have a fun idea, but I would prefer not to set fire to the neighborhood. Although I suppose, yes, I suppose they're going to do it if we don't. See, that's why we should. That's why we should act. It's a bag full of Molotov cocktails. Asher will take out his handgun and wait for the rag to be lit. And as soon as it's lit, he's going to shoot the bottle and have the gas splash all over these people. Ooh! Okay. Uh, You do see that they head towards the end of the alley. See, they kind of look to one another. Are they going to burn down St. Columba House? You look look towards uh, where St. Columba House is. Uh, You see them beginning to light the cloth as you just turn the clock as the gun goes off. Uh, roll uh, dex plus firearms. And then as soon as the shot rings out, I'm going to basically turn and just absolutely book it, you know, pulling out the, uh, the, the, the sword that I've got. And what am I using? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dash for the straggler while he goes uh, while he shoots the guy with the Molotov cocktail. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use fleetness. Uh, I'm going to blood surge as well. How how does blood surge work? I make a rouse check and then I can add two dice. There's no other cost beyond the rouse check. Uh, well, you can only use it once per once per night. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. The blood surge should help me. That's three successes. And I succeed my last check. Okay. For Talison, please make a rouse check for fleetness. Seven. Seven. You're good. You pull the trigger as the bullet pierces through the bottle. You watch as it ignites as it spreads across uh, all four of these figures. The ensuing sudden burst of the gunshot, plus also the everyone beginning to catch flame, causes the rest of them to drop their bottles causing the rest of them to go out in a huge sprawl of fire as they all just <sighs> uh, and just begin screaming out as they're trying to douse themselves out. They very quickly just, one by one. Can I, can I get to one because I used fleetness? Can I, can I get to one before their... What are you trying to do when you get to one? You, you can move close to the speed of a, of a, of a flying bullet, but, but the chain reaction is going to move pretty quick. What are, you, what are you trying to do? Well, I was going to fight one and, and then leave a couple for witness, but since they've all gone up, I'm just going to run in, get the closest one, and just, you know, yank him and slide him along the ground um, away from all the bottles. So while, while he might be a flame. He's out of the big pool of fire, and he's been pushed onto the ground. Uh, so he's he'll be somewhat doused, and he might at least survive long enough for us to question it. Okay, uh, please roll dexterity plus celerity plus athletics. Uh, I can do that, Dex. That is four successes. Four successes. You are able to just pull one backwards woof, and slide them away. Their shoes catch slightly aflame as they... Uh, as you are able to slide them uh, behind you down the alleyway towards Asher. Can I just like like slide him into 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 a wall? So he's he's not in a free space to run away, just to like... Boom. Uh, you, you see him impact? Alright, I'll... I'll once I'm sure he's impacted and there's fire like a motherfucker all around the rest of the three I'll walk towards him sword drawn point at his at his throat guess what happens when people try to burn down buildings go on take a guess what are you talking about you have bags full of Molotov cocktails and you are literally lighting them to throw them at the building where do you think the rest of you are on fire where do you think that came from what? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, can I insight him? Make a wits insight. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four, six. Six successes. This person has no clue what you're talking about. 
Is he bleeding at all? No, not at this point. If you could just, if you could just give him a paper cut. Sorry, you just said his uh, his um, feet were on fire. Uh, they were for a moment, but you were able. To, but they went out when you threw them backwards. Interesting. One moment, please, sir. And I'll sort of, I'll I'll yank. I'll sort of grab his hand and yank him up. And then on on the um, the outside of his forearm, so not hitting the major veins, I'll sort of draw my sword across it, so that some some blood drips out. Sorry about this. Asher will take a finger, touch it, and then touch the blood to his tongue. Uh, and I'm gonna make a resolve plus blood sorcery rule. Uh, taste of blood. Can you just remind me what that indicates? I can determine the resonance and intensity of the blood if human. I also identify whether the blood belongs to a mortal ghoul, vampire, or other supernatural creature. So I just want to know if this is a mortal who's been dominated or has like a blood bond going or what, what, what the deal is. So I'm, I'm holding, holding him. I've, uh, once I've, I've, um, cut him, I'll, I'll sort of still hold the arm, making, make sure he's still sort of sitting down and I'll still have the, the sword towards his throat. Uh, and I'll just say, stay very still if you want to live. So I, I succeeded a taste for blood. Okay. Uh, this is a ghoul. Uh, resonance currently uh, is uh, sanguine, I guess. Are you hungry? What? No, I'm... Not you. I gesture to Talison. Hungry? I mean, I could eat, not overly, though. So meta, uh, hunger is one. I've I've not failed my uh, any any blood dice miraculously. Me neither. But the the resonance is good for both of us. Well, if we if we have a nom on him, what uh, what happens? Uh, you'll gain a plus one to all of those to any presence rolls you have, and blood sorcery. Oh shit! Well, in that case, yeah, I'll I'll uh, I guess. Look, I'll never turn down a free lunch, eh? Uh, and yourself? I am fine for the time being. Well, if you want, I certainly will. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask him before I... Uh... What's the last thing you remember? I was uh, at home with my uh, my fiancé. Doing what at home with your fiancé? Eating dinner, sitting on the couch? We were just having... I'm just... Oh, at which point you hear in the distance... As uh, police sirens are beginning to beginning to ring out, time for us to leave. I think I'll have a drink. I will cloud memory again. Police cars coming very nearby. Uh, where are you guys headed? If I can, there's a park across the street. I think I would like to go knock on the door of Saint Columba, or actually, I'd like to. On the opposite side of a staircase, there's uh, like a small stairway leading down to another door. I'd like to try to pick that lock. Okay. Make a dexterity larceny check. Can I help him by by shining uh, I've got a I've got a phone. So can I use him by shining uh, shining a phone light on there, making sure that he's got he's got good vision while shielding the scene from anyone coming coming up the alley. Sure. Messy critical on the blood dice and one other success. Okay. Um, you go, doesn't open. All right, then I will cut myself and let my blood drip over the lock and wait for it to dissolve. Okay, make a rouse check. Fail. Fail. You increase one hunger, but the handle in the lock quickly dissolves as the door opens. (sighs) Perhaps I should have taken the chance to eat. I mean, he's still there. He's with the cops by now. I don't suppose that you mind that this is a church. Do we hear anyone? You step through the door. It is a dark room. However, you hear movement upstairs. Does it sound like the cops have come inside or it's just regular movement? Just regular movement. Is there anything in there that I could use to bar the door? Uh, there's a chair. We also may want a quick exit. I'll put the chair just in front of the door so we can yank just yank it away if we if we need perhaps you should hide you you do realize what you're asking 
yes, you'll have to contain yourself unless I get in trouble. You're asking a diva to hide while I'm obviously trying to hide. Um, is there anything to hide behind? Uh, there is in a far corner what looks to be those rolling walls that you can kind of set up to make temporary rooms. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, down here, you're looking at it. It appears to be a, uh, a classroom of some sort. You can see that there's a chalkboard. You can see that there is uh, some tiled flooring. Uh, it seem, yeah, it just seems to be a basement classroom. So there are the movable walls. Uh, make a stealth check. Uh, dex plus stealth. Would I get any bonus for the fact that I am in camo paint? Yes, take a take a one die. One die. You Love it. See, this is what happens when you are prepared. I got five successes. Which point? You feel pretty well hidden. Uh and and Asher will go and head over to the basement staircase. Go up. And like knock on the door between the staircase and the main floor. There's a moment of pause before you hear one step, two, and the door opens. Uh, and before you, you see a tall woman, very a, a deep tan skin, set up multiple. Uh, was it this very curly frizzy hair? Very well. Like, uh, well done up, well dressed. Seems to be wearing sneakers, but also with a very, like, business casual a little bit. As she kind of opens the door, she seems to probably be in her late 40s, early 50s. Uh, a little bit of gray beginning to speckle around. Glasses kind of pushed up on the bridge of the nose. Hello. Are you alright? Oh, yes. I'm fine, but, uh... Uh, a few people tried to set the building on fire. I wanted to make sure that everyone in here was okay. Are you a police officer? No, just a concerned citizen. I was wondering why anyone would want to do such a thing. The organization clearly does so much for the community. Ah, I mean, I can by no means... I have no clue. <laughs> you, but you're sure that those people outside were trying to, to burn down our building? As far as I heard, yes. Could I use my... Bloodhound ability, where I can smell like human blood or human resonance. Let's see. Uh, resolve plus awareness at difficulty three. And if she's wearing perfume, uh, you can increase it. The moment you try to smell, you get a burning sensation through your nose. It is an awful rack of pain. As you almost have to step backwards. Are you? Are you sure you're okay? As she kind of looks at you, you're staring at her, and you can feel that that nausea beginning to push and push and push. As you've never met someone with true faith before, but this is the only thing that you can think that counts. You know, I... <clears throat> I think I have some understanding now. Lovely to, <laughs> to meet you. I'll just let myself out. Oh, right. How did you get in? Door downstairs was open, but I, I'll, I'll be sure to lock up behind me. Please, just, I, it's, it's fine. I, it's fine. Well, um, well, know that if there's ever a point you need anything, our door is always open. I will remember, and I'm gonna, like, flee down the stairs if I can. Do I have to spend willpower to do that? No, uh, true faith abilities are essentially actions. And she does not seem uh, to be aggressive in any way as you flee down the steps and into this back into this main room. I'm just going to open the door. Talison, let's get out of here. I f figured it out. Um, so she can't, she can't see us anymore, can she? Nope. Out of line of sight. Cool. I'll sort of stealthily out of my hiding place and, yeah, get ready to, to move out. As you guys leave the building, and uh, where where are you guys heading to as of this moment? Asher is going to, yeah, just get across the street to the park and just start dry heaving by a tree. Um, I'll, I'll do the, the, the good mateley thing, sort of rub his back, pat it a little bit. Here, uh, 
there's something to take your, uh, something to wash the foul taste out of your mouth, and I'll pull out my flask of whiskey and <laughs> offer him, offer him a drink. That is why they were trying to destroy the the place. That other, the one you pulled out of the fire, someone had made him a ghoul. And if you're looking to establish a new territory, the last thing you want in that territory is true faith. Especially coming from me when I, I go to St. James all the time. Right, the church. There is true believers here. Save us from good people. Goodness, I haven't... Uh, I mean, look, there are some in Italy back home, but I haven't been there in a very long time. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, did she match the description of that uh, Alexandra Capaldi woman that uh, Tyler spoke of? No, if she recognized my nature, she did not care. Right, okay. Did you get any any inkling that she may have been aligned with the Inquisition? Faith does not have to mean faith in the church, does it? I guess not. Uh, however, I mean, the Inquisition was born of the church, so... I, at least, but uh, where there is one, the other is not far behind. Tyson, did, did, that, did that kind of um, sickening miasma decrease in strength as we approached St. Columba House? No, it increased. It increased. It seemed that the, the true faith was the thing that was causing you the nausea. However, as you watch from St. Columba House, as you're just trying to get your bearings again... Uh, You notice the door swings open. Uh, As you can see, the same woman step out, look towards where the police officers are, and just kind of, just keeping a watch a little bit, and she kind of turns over and looks towards the two of you and just kind of gives just a wave. Uh, And at which point you both feel that nausea die. And you feel normal. Everyone, your max health increases by one. As you feel, as she waves to you, there's this weird sensation that you have you have never read, you have never encountered ever from your stories, where the true faith almost seems to include you in it. Oh, what? Oh, shit. As in, we also emanate the true faith, or we are simply shielded from it? Not exactly. It's almost like you... It's almost like you're the source of her truth faith. That her faith comes from helping other people. And... We are now part of the community. And thus, once she accepts you into the, her community, uh, which she is one to do, then you are built up because of that. This bears more looking into, but perhaps it is time that we met with Nakano? See, si, certainly. And uh, as she looks around and waves at us, and I sort of feel you know, not nauseous anymore. I sort of look to her. Would it be reasonable to assume that I could clock what's what's happening? Like, sort of have an idea of what's transpired? Uh, about, like, everything that's gone on? No, no, as in just the reason why we don't feel... Yeah, the, the nature of this woman's faith. The, yes, yes. Uh, I'd, I'd say with Asher uh, there kind of cluing things together a bit... Uh, I'd say the two of you were able to figure out... It, it's it's very much a theory. Or sorry, not a theory, like a hypothesis. Because this has never happened before. Never, ever, ever. Would that potentially be because true faith is so directly tied to the church in most cases? Or a church, whether it's a like a synagogue or a, like a Christian church? For the most part, true faith ha- has historically been devoted to religion. But as you mentioned before, true faith is not bound to one. It's just that was what has predominantly been the case. Therefore, it could uh, encounter other things, including uh, with this woman. Okay. Well, well, after having sort of been explained that slash hypothesized it with uh, Asher, I'll sort of, yeah, wave back to her in a bit of sort of happy but puzzled sort of like... Hey, okay. <laughs> Which point she just turns, looks at the situation, and then heads back inside. Now that is a powerful ally. Damn right. We can set up a base of operations here, and we would be 
any any other kindred allies would be at a disadvantage repelled see something tells me i should get this uh this woman a bottle of wine <laughs> did you catch her name <laughs> by any chance i i did not but i will say that this neighborhood has enough issues with gentrification that they don't need you to move here as well wow I'll sort of I'll give I'll give him a I'll give him a filthy look for just a moment and sort of clip him over the back of the head, lightly. Um, ha ha, very funny. Should we investigate the source of those ghouls, or should we get back to Nakano? I think getting to Nakano and uh, and and the lake house would be would be uh, more effective given the fact that three of them are dead one of them has absolutely no idea what's going on and you've not been able to divine or not told me what where or anything to do with the sire of this or, or the the governing party of the school i lack the power to determine that unfortunately sure in that case what other leads do we have stemming from this I wonder if we'll have to introduce Nakano to that woman in order for him to uh, pass through without any fear. I think that would be an interesting introduction. <laughs> well, I mean, once I, I, can, I can drop off a gift and uh, he can be the cab driver that drops me there. So, Yeah, Nakano is just standing by the entrance to the metro station, like absolutely ramrod straight back in the way that like when you are attempting when you want to like keel over and so you you overcompensate by like really straightening out and really standing to attention that's what he's doing nakano you have you'll never guess what has just happened can we explain it somewhere that is not here See, sí, certainly, but, uh... Excellent, and I begin walking away. Oh, did you take the metro here? Yes. I... this is the first time I've ever seen you without the taxi. It is weird. It is a weird experience, and it is not making me feel any better than I currently am. Let us keep speed walking. Certainly. Well, I'll... I'll catch him up on... on what happens while we speedily walk. And I'll uh, sort of, you know, sort of get get Asha to to help me in terms of our hypothesis of, of what's happened. I don't quite remember where Lake's house was. NDG. NDG uh, on Dakari. You guys head towards the address. You eventually come across, uh, after a while of traveling, you come across what looks to be a essentially a series of small homes. You can see that the one that you're looking at is about middle of the road, to a certain extent cookie cutter uh, in this area. Very simple, seems to be a single, maybe a two-story house set up. You can see uh, the windows on the inside are dark. Very simple, what looks to be like, like the 70s yellow facade out front. Just kind of like a general description of the of the building. And that's about it. Is there still a mage keeping watch here? Not currently. Would I have known that it's just during the day? Or should they be here and they're not here? You would be aware. It's 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 mostly during the day as people are requested. Not exactly what one might expect from a soldier of the Second Inquisition, but okay. We still don't know that he is. Keep an open mind. Uh, and I'm going to catch them both up on uh, what I saw in my premonition. With the two figures surrounded in a swarm of bugs. Uh, and when when Talison picked up the makeup and stuff at the Farmer Pre, could I have gotten a thing of bug spray and a lighter? Fair enough, sure. Uh, is there a car in the driveway? Uh, there is one, yes. Still just one? Mm-hmm. Should we knock or just break in nakano what do you suggest i don't know how much use i'll be <sighs> sneaking in i am not entirely myself right now i cannot deny that 
Are you feeling a wee bit peckish? I'll cope. But I am not at full strength. Is there is there anyone out walking their dog or anything? I will be fine. I will head over to the car. Perhaps disable it. Make sure no one can get a speedy getaway. Or perhaps you should hotwire it and allow us one of our own. I like the way you think, Asher. That that means that means a lot coming from our ideas guy. Uh, I'd like to make sure that Sense the Unseen is going. Absolutely. <sighs> Sense the Unseen is active. How was your visit? Actually, sorry, did he catch us up? Yep. Yeah, everyone's caught everyone up. Right. So, essentially, then, uh, you want to be... Uh, sorry. Ambrosia wants you dead, Asher. And given the fact that she did not mention that you should also kill me... It turns out that, or it would seem at least, that um, my death was a success. And I am... uh... Or perhaps she does not view you as a threat. That is highly possible as well. Are you trying to be funny, Nakano? No, I am simply saying that it is highly possible for someone to look at you and not see you as a threat. Potentially. Although, last time she did say, Um... don't, don't, uh, don't contact either of us. So... If I have died, in commas, and she didn't want you associating with me, it would stand to reason that she believes I am dead, especially if she said to kill Asher. It is likely that she would have said something about you had it been her that had wanted you dead. Let us cross that bridge when we get there. We still need to get into this lake house. I appreciate your trust, Nakano. It would have been very easy to keep that to yourself. Oh, well... One of us live forever, and I'm gonna begin sneaking over to the car. Okay. Uh, I'll say, make an intelligence plus larceny check. Intelligence plus larceny. Okay. Can I assist by melting the lock in the door handle so he doesn't have to worry about getting in? He just has to worry about hot wiring the car. Uh, sure. Yeah, add an add an additional dice, uh, Nikana. Do you want me to do a ra- Do you want me to do a rouse check for that help? Yes, please. Success. Okay. And Nakano? Uh, that's two successes. Uh, if that's a failure, uh, one of my blood dice was a was a crit fail. Okay. You are trying to hotwire the thing, and it's pissing you off. It's not. It's not doing what you want, and you get overwhelmed by this sense of frustration that things have just not been working in your way. Uh, you gain the compulsion dominance. Ah, uh, yeah! You are pissed off that people are not listening to you. People need to treat you with some decent fucking respect. That's the problem here. Nothing is working. And I would like to try and rip the steering wheel out of its column. Uh, make a strength plus athletics check. I mean, they're all blood dice. One success, one regular failure, one crit failure. Uh, okay, you just begin angry throttling the the wheel as you're just feeling it buck and shift under you, but it doesn't break. <sighs> I'll 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 come in and, and, and try and calm him. I'll chuck on um ore uh so that he's a little bit more agreeable to my 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 words and i want to i'm not trying to manipulate him i just want to persuade him so i say hey nakano nakano it's 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 okay my friend look we all have off nights we all get hungry and this is a a trying time we've all been most of us have had assassination attempts and the rest of us have been under duress it's okay we still have your back there's plenty of time for us to succeed so I just I put my hand on his back gently and, and another one on his shoulder. Just adding a little bit of pressure, but certainly not enough to like restrain him. This is a a comforting we've still got you. Is there any shrubbery or anything around the front door of this house? There is. Asher's gonna go kneel behind like a rose bush or whatever. Because he's thinking that this noise is gonna bring someone out the front door. Okay. Make a uh, make a stealth check. Dex plus stealth, baby. What was I rolling, uh, Tyson? 
charisma plus persuasion plus your presence. If I don't get this, something is wrong. Five successes for stealth. Okay. You are you are hiding damn well. I will also say, Asher, while you are hiding behind that shrub, you're right next to the deck. Uh, and you clock, while you're kneeling there, uh, what looks to be a balled up piece of paper thrown to an edge. That you're looking across it and immediately spl- spot what looks to be blood on it. I will snag it. Um, that was six successes. Six successes. Nakano, you feel temporarily calmed, still pissed off, still frustrated. You're still under the compulsion, but you have been able to get a hold of yourself currently before you start doing anything too rash. Okay. I'm just going to be, like, gripping the wheel, like, white-knuckling the steering wheel and just, like like putting my head against it uh just like whole body clenched just like everything everything is going wrong i can't nothing is within my control it's okay nakano we can we can improve upon this if if nothing has been going right with that only means that we can improve in the future i am with you my friend at which point, Asher, you're looking at the piece of uh, the rolled up piece of paper, and you can see what looks to be bloody, almost looks like fingerprints, having closed up this piece of paper. Does the paper say anything? Uh, you unfurl it, and it does. Uh, it's a very weathered piece of paper. It's a missing persons poster. Looks like it's been torn at a spot. As you look down at the image, and you recognize the figure, having gone missing missing nine months ago is the blonde woman that you saw walking out of the theater. Oh, shit. Does the missing persons report have her name on it? Yep. Uh, Her name is Abigail Bray. Bray, not Lake? Bray, not Lake. How old is this blood? Like, ages, right? No. More recent? It's very, it's old. It's dry. You smell it, maybe about a week. And when I smell it, does it seem human? Yes. And as you smell it, you clock, the smell gets stronger as you look towards the front door. Are Nakano and Talson still making a bunch of noise? Uh, no, they've quieted down as of this point. I am going to try. Does, does the smell that's coming from the door smell mortal with my bloodhound ability? Mm-hmm. Asher is going to reach over by the door, knock, and then duck back. You knock. Nothing happens. Did I did I sense did I sense the figure move at all? Nothing moved. How old does the blood inside smell? About the same. Maybe about a week. Okay. Uh Asher is just gonna peek out and say Dead body. Just inside, I think. Come on, Nakano no. We need, we need to uh, help Asher. He can't do without the ideas, man, huh? We need you here. Uh, at this point, uh, responding to Talus and Nakano is, is, is just going to go like, All right. All right. Fine. And he is going to push himself out of the car and just go, sort of like lurch his way over to the front door. And, uh, hey, let's just, let's just pound on the front door. Uh, is there any glass? Uh, yep. There are two slots of glass at the top. Uh, okay. I am going to... I'm going to take my scarf off, actually. I, I I keep saying I have the scarf. And I'm going to wrap one of my hands in it and punch through one of the glass portions. Okay. You easily break the glass, slip your hand on the inside, and go to flick the lock. It's unlocked. Oh, that's hilarious. None of us fucking checked for that. <laughs> uh, I will open the door. Nakano, you push open the door as you see what looks to be a normal house hallway. You can see that there are multiple kind of doorways that go to the left, to the right. The thing that immediately occurs to you, however, is you can see what looks to be two sets of footprints that have been left on the hardwood floor. 
you can see that there's just little specks of blood that seem to have left a trail leading to the front door. Uh, leading to the front door from the inside of the house? Yes. I'm going to gesture down at the uh, at the footprints on the floor, and I'm going to grab a, a large kitchen knife from my pocket, and I'm going to begin walking into the house. Pulling out my gun. Actually, pulling out, pulling out the aerosolized bug spray and the lighter. I'm drawing my sword. You guys immediately step inside, weapons drawn, as the interior looks just like an everyday home. Uh, you can see that there's a nice dining room set up. You can see that there is uh, no food set up. There's no cutlery, no plates or the such. Uh, the place looks, it's eerily quiet inside the space. And as you're walking past, you can see that there's numerous pictures that have been hung up on the walls. Some of them are of people you have never seen before. A few of them, however, include an image of a familiar figure to Taliesin. As you see the, in, the person in the armor who bit you, that was wielding the incendiary round weapons, you see his face in multi multiple of these family photos. Gentlemen, I present to you Frederick Lake, and I'll gesture towards one of the photos where his face is clearly visible. Is Abigail in any of these photos? No. Uh, uh, Nakano is going to place his hand on the picture and just sort of trace the the image of this this happy family, and then he is going to take the photo off of the wall and hurl it to the and hurl it at a, another wall at the end of the hallway or wherever. He can hurl it so it breaks. Very easily seen. There is one that looks to be of a recent family photo. Uh, you can see Frederick standing in the back. L like one of those like like kind of stereotypical family photos where it's like the guy stands in the back. Uh, there's a woman around his age uh, sitting down what looks to be very gentle brown eyes. This short bob cut of blonde hair and sitting on her lap is a young boy probably around the age of six or seven uh blonde hair but frederick's eyes as he just seems to be smiling there with them one hand like a like a sideways frisbee it spins before impacting into a wall and breaking all across the floor Clearly a fan of the happy families, no? Whatever. Asher puts a hand on Nakano's shoulder and just like gives a single pat and then takes the photograph from the broken frame. Can I do an investigation? Uh, specific or awareness, whatever. Uh, essentially, I want to find out if there's uh, evidence of any secret doors, walls, um... You will safe some, you know, a, con a concealed room or entry or something like that. And because I've got things like that in my um, in my house, I would know what to look for. Make a uh, intelligence plus investigation. That is not a good roll. <laughs> that was no successes. No successes. You look around. You don't see anything. However, it's very hard not to see for all of you. As you head probably like down this hallway leading into the kitchen, there is a door that is splintered in half that looked like it was caved inwards that these bloody footprints seem to lead up from. It seems to go into a staircase heading downwards. Well, who wants to go down to the depths below? I'll go. I'm always the one who goes, and I will stalk downwards. Nakano, you descend the steps as all three of you, heading downwards, are hit with a thick scent. As there is the sound of buzzing. As Nakano, you are the first one to arrive as you arrive down at the base steps. As you can see that this appears to be a basement. In this room, 
Uh, there seems to be some general things, storage for the most part. But the room is soaked in blood. The floor is covered in it. As you see that there are three corpses down. You can see that there are a total of three chairs, one of which is empty, two of which are uh, currently have two figures inside of them, and the third is a corpse lying on the ground next to the rest of them. Is there like a, a light in this basement? There is, yes. I would like to go and, uh, and flick it on. You flick it on. The bugs in here are immense. The flies especially, as these bodies have begun to rot. And do we recognize anything about the bodies? The two in the seats, you can see bound uh, to the chairs. Uh, you can see that there is one adult woman and one what looks to be a boy, maybe max around the age of 10. Uh, both of which uh, look like they have had their throats ripped open. Jesus. The third figure... You don't recognize having met her before, but you do recognize her based on a description that was given to you by the prince. This looks like the Ravnos member who went to go and uh, embrace Frederick Lake. I see. Can I, can, can we ascertain what they died of? Her head was removed from her body. It, it looks like it was chewed off. Uh, she sustained other ma massive uh, blows across her body uh she looks mangled chewed off by what size creature or what like um what jaw shape uh sharp teeth but not a very large creature probably humanoid i am going to walk away from talison and I am going to find whatever objects are not nailed down in this basement, and I am going to proceed to just smash them with my fists, with my feet, against walls. And while I am doing that, I am just shouting things like, This is this what you want? Is this the world you wish for? Over and over and over. Power for power. Jesus Christ. And always these people bleeding and dying and being butchered over and over again. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. I'll try and, and once again calm... Uh, Nakano. With your previous roll, I'll, I'll say that the same number is sustained. It's able to help a little bit, but this is only a matter of time thing. What kind of stove? What kind of what kind of oven was in the kitchen? Gas? Gas, yeah. I'll meet you both in the car. Oh, uh, with, uh, with your um, medicine check from previous, the body of the Ravnos member, Aaron... She didn't bleed any vitae. You don't see any vitae on the ground. So she didn't turn in. He was turned by the time she got there. You're, you're not sure if that's the case, but it looks like she was diablerized. Someone out there is a blood leech. Oh dear. Uh, Asher, I'll have a word with uh, Roy. Can you search the scene a little more, perhaps? Uh, the bodies, uh, see if there was any sign of what happened to uh, to Frederick? I think Roy needs us right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and 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 I'll I'll yeah once again sort of hand on his back, hand on his shoulder, and I'll I'll just uh, I'll just say, Roy, I am I am sorry. I did not mean to cause events. I was merely having a joke. This is a a tense and terrible situation. This appears more than just a matter a matter of you being hungry you know that this is the way that uh, this is not the way that asher and myself operate it is the way that they operate the barons and baronesses these anarchs camarilla ravnos all these 
fucking clans with their fucking power plays. This is why I ran the first time. All the way from Japan, all the way here across an ocean. This is why I ran. And the blood just became too much for me. But it doesn't end. What happened, my friend? Tell me, I am here for you, if... if you need. What does it matter? There was a war. There were people who wanted to be in power and people who wanted to be in power themselves. And there was a war and there was fighting and so many people died. Mountains and mountains of them. And I... I abandoned all that I was, you understand. I used to be a samurai, can you believe that? A warrior. I could have died honorably in combat, or at least by my own hand, but I chose to run. I could not stand any more blood, you see, and so I ran, and now I am not samurai, I am barely even ronin, I am nothing. I am a creature of blood, caught up in even more of these sports, these wars for nothing but a few blocks of concrete and asphalt. I sympathize, Nakano. I too ran from my pain. I was not in a situation as yours. I was captured and held against my will for 12 years by my sire. And when I was finally released from the imprisonment, the first available opportunity, I ran. There is a reason that I've become a diva in as many countries. I can only say, based on the interactions that we have had, but you have never handled yourself dishonorably. In combat, you are not a coward. I remember, it was a, a long time ago, many decades, we were fighting a terrible opponent, and you had the opportunity to run. He was stronger. He was besting us, but instead, you used your wits. You went and found a more powerful weapon and disabled our opponent. It would have been very easy to run away from that fight. It would have been very easy for you to abandon me to die. But instead, Roy Nakano, you drove a car right down that fucker's throat and pinned him to a wall while we killed him. You are not a coward. That has honor, my friend. And you are still a worthy individual. Now, yes, it is a bloody time at the moment. And yes, this is an ugly reality that these things sometimes happen in the affairs of the kindred. But I know you don't want this to be commonplace. I do not want this to be commonplace. Together, we will stop this. Together, we will put the people away. We, they, they will face justice. And this family shall be avenged. We will bring rights to the city. We will restore honor to the city. And Roy Nicano, you shall be an agent of that. You are, can be a servant of justice again. Nakano is just silent for a little bit, and then slowly he turns around, and he sort of hangs his head to to try and hide his expression, and sort of just clasps uh, Talison on the shoulder briefly. But uh, anyone with with perception can see that like there there are tears in his eyes. And uh, he is going to head over to the two bodies, the 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 uh, the mother and child, and he's just gonna take his knife. Uh, he's gonna take a moment to cut their bonds and lay them on the floor next to um next to the Ravnos agent, so that they're all lying sort of parallel, and then. Uh, Without another word, he is going to 
walk back up the stairs and head uh, head back to the car. Once once Nakano's sort of finished doing the clasping uh, my, in my hand, I'll I'll step back before he turns around and just give him a give him a deep bow. Uh, as that bow happens, Nakano, your compulsion ends. Uh, you see, like some of the tension in his body release, and sort of a, a a long breath comes out, and he will just like nod his head, um, acknowledging your bow, Talison, before he heads up. Shall we have a look around for the rest of the house, see if there is any more clues? Yes. We did some good detective work to find the young Baron. Perhaps we could do similar detective work here to find another place that uh, that uh, Mr. Lake would be hanging out in. He is in pain right now. He is a source's family. And therefore, a place of comfort that is not here would be a logical place to find him. I, I imagine one of two situations here. One, this torture and capture was genuine on the part of the barons or it's a frame job and lake was made to think that the anarchs were at cause and so welcomed the embrace to fight back do you think it was camarilla perhaps i don't know enough about the goings-on i left europe soon after I was turned. Sure. Well, in that case, I'll tell you what. Uh, I have a hidden room in my apartment, and there are other rooms on the floor uh, with which we can sleep. Either you can come to my my residence to strategize. If it is not too much trouble, I could come to yours. I think perhaps we should go somewhere unexpected. Certain. Where would you suggest? (laughs) <laughs> I suggest we go stay the night with the prince. Really? It's not a bad idea, actually. However, if we were to do that and get caught, we'd certainly not be making ourselves any friends. Nakano has just been told to kill us. And the vast majority of the vampire community thinks I am dead, so... I can't imagine we are too popular with the status quo at the moment. We don't want others thinking we have allied allied ourselves with the Ravnos, though. Fair. What about your new friend? In Point St. Charles. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Especially since her uh, faith is the return to other, other kindred. It would be unexpected. Although we would need to explain... Uh, why would we? Why we would be sleeping through the day? I'm sure you can come up with something, Delson. I will do my best, Nakano. I thought I saw a gymnasium there, underground. Perhaps that has a back room, or something of the like. In that case, uh, we shall go and ask. Alrighty. For the sake of brevity, for the rest of your guys' investigation, in this downstairs area, you can see that there is a calendar. It looks like this was a partial workspace. You can see that there is a calendar uh, that about a week ago, there is a location specified uh, known as Zeltec construction site at 8 p.m. There is an associated one. Uh, There's kind of a line drawn to it that goes, check in about lot 7541. The other thing you recognize, the two pairs of footsteps one of which begins at the chair. The other set begins kind of behind the two chairs and leads out through the front door. The stride suggests walking. Oh no, I know what happened. Oh no, I surely surely hope not. That would explain much. I know what happened. Um, So, our poor Frederick, what I think happened... He was turned by someone and then starved. And in his hunger, when it became all too much, well, we all know what happens when the the beast inside takes control. And so he blames all kindred, perhaps, enough to turn to the Inquisition. See, 
It makes sense. A terrible fate. I don't know that the Inquisition would accept him. But this... This is... Wrong. This is deeply wrong. See, this is deeply wrong. This is... Abhorrent. Reprehensible. This is... This is the work of someone who truly believes that... uh, Everyone beneath them is cattle. Which... Alludes to, perhaps, a older kindred who's lost lost touch with their humanity. A powerful individual. If we find this individual, I'll deliver them to the Inquisition myself. In the distance, you begin to hear sirens. Let's get moving, shall we? I'm gonna leave the stove running. Nakano, would you, would you like to... Set the pyre. Yes. And I'll I'll flick in my 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 light off. Uh, is there a candle or anything so that this can be done safely? Light a candle. Pass the uh, lighter back to Talison and head out with the uh, the rest of them to the car. I think we had said. Or um... is the car still drivable given the shape of the? Uh... Yep. It, no, no, didn't break or anything. It's still drivable. Yeah, I, I assume we can find the keys to the car. Asher calls 911 and reports a gas leak at the address. I have uh, one thing I wish to attend to in, in uh, the city before we go to our rest for the evening. If you would indulge me. Perhaps we could drop you off and I will introduce Nakano to our friend. Certainly. All right. I start the car and pull out into the road. Let's get going. All right. As you guys back into the road and drive off in, into the late night, that is where we'll leave off for today. Oh, boy. Before we sign off, I would like to plug St. Columba House. Yes, please. Everyone there is like is truly wonderful. They do such incredible work. They have a link for donations on their website. They've been... Uh, They've been running programs all throughout COVID. Uh, yeah, give them a look. If you want to, if you can get involved. Yeah, they're just they're just fantastic. It was a dark session. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Yeah, take care take care of yourself. I know that uh, with, with vampire, there's there's sometimes some dark stuff that comes up. So just uh, make sure you look after yourself. Be kind to each other. Yeah, take some time after listening to this episode, get some water, turn the lights on, watch a funny video. Yeah, look after yourselves, peeps. Takeshi, you had something to plug? Well, as usual, I'm, I'm going to plug uh, October Jones and Fish with Legs, a, uh, Canadian, a local Canadian narrative drama podcast. A lot of comedy, a lot of drama uh, for all ages about a girl and a fish trying to save the world. I act in it, Tyson acts in it. It can be found on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, I almost forgot the name there, Podbean, and probably another uh, site that I'm totally forgetting. It is much lighter than this than this uh, particular show and this particular episode, so if you want a nice pick-me-up, you can uh, plug in an episode of that. Go take a bubble bath and cry. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I was going to say happy pride month, but it's a weird thing to go from like from just the darkness of this episode to happy pride month. Still happy pride month. You still got to be proud of that and have a wonderful rest of your day, your night, wherever you're doing. See you later.